Mercury is a defunct division of the American automobile manufacturer Ford Motor Company. Created in 1938 by Edsel Ford, Mercury was marketed as a middle-priced brand for nearly its entire existence, bridging the price gap between the Ford and Lincoln model lines. The Mercury name comes from the name of Roman god of speed who was the messenger of the gods, which was reflected in its focus during its early years on performance. From 1945 to its closure, Mercury was half of the Lincoln Mercury division of Ford, forming a combined sales network distinct from Ford. In 2010, Ford Motor Company announced the closure of the Mercury brand in an effort to focus on the Ford and Lincoln brands, ending production at the end of 2010. The final Mercury automobile, a 2011 Mercury Grand Marquis, rolled off the assembly line on January 4, 2011. Nineteen thirty nine, nineteen forties. In November nineteen thirty eight, Edsel Ford introduced four body styles of the Mercury Eight at the New York Auto Show. Dubbed the Super Ford, the Mercury Eight boasted the industry's first two spoke steering wheel. In nineteen thirty nine, production reached more than seventeen thousand vehicles. By nineteen forty one, more than ninety eight thousand new Mercuries were built to meet a staggering demand. For a total of 155,000 vehicles sold since the introduction of the Mercury 8. From 1942 to 1945, Mercury halted most of its production due to World War II. After the war, Henry Ford completely separated Mercury from Ford and established Lincoln Mercury Division. For the first time, Mercury had its own vehicles. Because of the war, Mercury's 1946 models were slightly modified 1942 models. 1947 saw production increase to more than 86,000 vehicles. On April 29, 1948, Lincoln Mercury introduced the first all-new post-war Mercury vehicles. 1950s Nineteen fifty was Mercury's highest production year to date with three hundred and forty four thousand eighty one vehicles built. In August of nineteen fifty, Mercury sold its one millionth car. Mercury was now truly earning a reputation for performance and innovation. In nineteen fifty one, the first automatic transmission, the Mercomatic, was added to all models. Other stylish appointments followed, including French headlamps, airfoil bumpers, monopane windshields, jet scoop hoods, aircraft-style instrumentation and hideaway gas caps. In 1953, the expansion of the model line proved successful. After emerging from a war depressed market, Mercury nearly doubled in sales, ranking 8th. In 1955, James Dean drove a customized 1949 Mercury in the movie Rebel without a cause. Previewed by the 1956 XM800 concept car, the Turnpike Cruiser was slotted above the Montclair, distinguished by its quad headlamps and retractable rear window. In line with Ford, Mercury station wagons became a distinct model line, with the commuter, Voyager, and Colony Park, all Mercury station wagons were hardtops. The 
The 50s closed out with the Big M dominating the racetrack and the sales charts. nineteen sixties in nineteen sixty mercury introduced the comet and meteor lines the comet was a luxury compact and the meteor was a downsized full-sized vehicle that reflected a trend toward smaller cars the comet made a big splash at the nineteen sixty three daytona international speedway durability run over the 40-day race, a fleet of Mercury Comet Calientes covered 100,000 miles at speeds averaging more than 105 miles per hour. As a result, sales went through the roof. For 1962, Mercury revised its model line matching it closer to Ford. To eliminate overlap with the Monterey, the Meteor nameplate was adopted for an intermediate, giving Mercury a counterpart of the Ford Fairlane. For non-station wagons, Mercury introduced S submodels to market sportier content. In 1967, Mercury introduced its two most successful nameplates, the Cougar and Marquis. Introduced as a counterpart of the Ford Mustang, the Cougar was intended to bridge the gap between the Mustang and Ford Thunderbird, the Cougar would go on to become the counterpart of the Thunderbird for 20 years. For 1968, the Mercury model range underwent several revisions. The Mercury Montego replaced the Comet as the intermediate model range. Introduced in 1964 as a performance-oriented sub-model of the Comet, the Mercury Cyclone became a standalone model range slotted above the Cougar. For 1969, the full-size Mercury line was given an all-new body and chassis. While again shared with Ford, the Mercury model line underwent a major revision, with the marquee expanded to a full model range and the Colony Park no longer marketed as a separate series, the Park Lane and Montclair were discontinued.
1970s. The oil crisis of the 70s sent gas prices skyrocketing which had consumers looking to buy smaller cars with better fuel efficiency. Mercury responded by adding the European-built 1971 Mercury Capri. Another addition was the Bobcat. For 1971, Mercury gradually distanced itself away from performance vehicles. The Marauder and Marquis convertible were discontinued, with the Bruin name making its return. Restyled along with the Mustang, the Cougar was repackaged as a competitor of the A-body coupes of General Motors. For 1975, the Mercury model range underwent a series of transitions. Following the discontinuation of the long-running Monterey, the Marquis became the sole full-size Mercury nameplate. From 1977, 1979, Cougar experienced a great increase in sales, the most impressive being in 1978 when sales reached 213,270 units. Overall, sales continued to climb. The late 70s brought about a completely redesigned Cougar XR7. In 1979 Mercury sales soared selling 669,138 units and earning 6.75% market share. nineteen eighties in the eighties mercury tried to capture a wider audience with a range of vehicles that included the capri cougar lynx and the grand marquis nineteen eighty one saw mercury revise its model line to combat falling sales a standard trim of the cougar replaced the monarch a counterpart of the ford granada the cougar was largely a zephyr with a formal roofline and marquee influenced fascius In 1982, Mercury introduced its first two-seat vehicle, the Mercury LN7 was marketed as a counterpart of the Ford EXP. To distinguish the LN7, the rear hatchback was fitted with a compound curve rear window. Along with advancing the use of aerodynamic exterior design, the 1984 Topaz became the first Lincoln Mercury vehicle to offer a driver-side airbag. The Topaz also marked the first appearance of the Mercury Stacked Angle brand emblem, 
used through the 2011 model year. The introduction proved successful, with the entire division selling nearly 500,000 vehicles. But the biggest success came in 1986 with the launch of the all-new Mercury Sable. The car featured a radical aerodynamic design that reduced drag to increase fuel efficiency. This involved long-term planning of a kind never seen before in the auto industry. In the process, Ford engineers tore apart hundreds of competitors' cars, a process called reverse engineering. For the 1985 model year, Ford chose to revisit the success of the 1970s Mercury Capri, with participating Lincoln Mercury dealers launching the Merker brand. Drawing its name from the German word for Mercury, Merker sold German-produced captive imports designed by Ford of Europe, competing against European executive cars sold in North America from Audi, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Saab, and Volvo. At its launch, Merker introduced the Merker XR4 T-Sports Coupe, a federalized version of the Ford Sierra XR4i. For the 1988 model year, the Merker Scorpio was introduced. Following the 1989 model year, Merker was discontinued as a result of several factors. Merker remains one of the shortest-lived brands in the modern American automotive industry. nineteen nineties the early part of the nineties brought about the introduction of the all-new minivan the mercury villager customers loved its spacious interior exceptional car-like ride and upscale amenities For 1992, the Mercury model line would undergo an extensive update, introducing new generations of its best-selling model lines. While adopting the style of the successful previous generation, the Sable carried over only its doors and roof. After 12 years nearly unchanged, the Grand Marquis underwent a larger-scale redesign, sharing no body commonality with the previous generation. Mercury sales rebounded in 1993 to over 480,000, their highest level since the 1978 all-time high. In the mid-1990s the brand received some free advertising when country music star Alan Jackson scored a hit with a 1993 cover of K.C. Douglas' Mercury Blues, a song which heaped praise on their vehicles. Following the 1994 model year, the Capri was discontinued. For 1995, the Topaz was replaced by the Mystique, offered only as a four-door sedan. In 1997, Mercury introduced its first SUV, the Mountaineer. This vehicle achieved great success in attracting young buyers to the market. Mercury continued to turn heads with its all-new 1999 Cougar. It offered new edge styling that contrasted smooth aerodynamics with crisply intersecting surfaces, and was a big success.
2000, 2011. The future direction of Mercury came to light with the revamped 2002 Mountaineer. America's favorite muscle sedan returned in 2003 as Mercury introduced the 302 horsepower Marauder. In the fall of 2004, Mercury introduced the all-new Mariner and Montego marking a bold new era in technological excellence. With such features as unsurpassed interior space, available all-wheel drive, and a continuously variable transmission, Mercury Montego was greeted with critical acclaim. Mariner fared equally well, offering the public available intelligent four-wheel drive, side curtain and front seat side impact airbags, and a 200-horsepower V6, among other amenities. And in 2006 the introduction of a new mid-size luxury sedan the Mercury Milan and Mercury's first-ever hybrid vehicle the Mariner Hybrid. In 2007, Mercury rolled out the redesigned 2008 Mariner and 2008 Sable, which both featured crisp exterior lines and were filled with the latest in driving technologies. On June 2, 2010, Ford announced the closure of the Mercury line, effective at the end of the year as the company concentrated its marketing and engineering efforts on the Ford and Lincoln model lines. In terms of overall sales in North America, the Mercury brand held a 1% share. After selling under 93,000 vehicles for 2009, Mercury had sold fewer vehicles than either Oldsmobile or Plymouth prior to their discontinuation. At the time, Mercury vehicles were sold in the United States. Canada, Mexico, Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, and the Middle East. For 2010, 93,165 Mercury vehicles were sold, nearly 265,000 fewer than in 2000. This channel World Cars Evolution. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.